What is red light therapy? A great question, one we get all the time, one that I personally have answered quite a few times. So I'm going to talk to you briefly about what is red light therapy today. So red light therapy is the practice of using bioactive frequencies of red and near-infrared light to shine on the body at both a surface level and deeper within to the muscles and uh, bones in order to generate a cellular response to increase cellular respiration, which will help improve adenosine triphosphate production, which will allow cellular repair and regrowth to happen at both a skin, muscular and joint level. So I hope that explains it. But I'll go into a little bit more detail on that. So there are very specific frequencies of light that are very beneficial to human beings. And in the visible range, 630 nanometers and 660 nanometer red light is extremely beneficial when delivered in a radiances higher than 100 megawatts per centimeter squared. So you've got to it's not just about getting 630 nanometer red light that's not very intense and shining it on your body to administer red light therapy. That won't work. You've got to have a higher radiance over that 100 megawatts per centimeter squared, um, which, is, which is very important when administering effective red light therapy at home. Now, red light therapy works by penetrating the skin, um, both with red and near-infrared light, and it also in, uh, interacts with something called cytochrome C oxidase, which is found at the fourth phase of electron chain transport, which is the energy, the cellular energy production unit within humans. And what happens is, um, when we have a lot of buildup, like nitric oxide, for instance, very beneficial to humans, but when we have a lot of buildup of it within the electron chain transport process for, for cellular respiration is that it can interfere and take oxygen um, away from that process, which makes your energy production system more inefficient, which means you can get sick, um, recover um, a lot slower, um, and generally not have a very efficient biological system. What red light therapy seems to do, according to the literature, is it, it helps neutralize some of the um, nitric oxide that is present within that particular part of cellular respiration and it frees up more oxygen to react with cytochrome C oxidase and produce more adenosine triphosphate which is ATP which is energy um, which makes our cells more efficient and with more energy coming through you can actually boost you know collagen production cellular repair um, and also joint repair as, as well and this is what what, what makes Red light therapy extremely fascinating because there's been over 4,000 clinical trials which have shown great benefits of utilizing red light therapy for a, a whole array of different um, conditions. Um, you know, you always have to caveat that you, you should always seek um, a medical diagnosis for a certain condition before you start administering red light therapy, but it could work very well with your current um, protocol in order to help with certain conditions. Now, some of the conditions that red light therapy has been shown to assist with is um, joint pain from mild medically diagnosed arthritis, um, muscle recovery, um, so you could have a, you know, after a strenuous workout or potentially just um, an, an injury in, in your muscle, um, sore back maybe after a day at the office, a lot of skin conditions it can help with, so like eczema, psoriasis, um, acne. Um, it can also boost collagen in the skin, which will help you um, with anti-aging, with wrinkles and fine lines. It can help with weight loss, um, fat loss. It can help reduce the appearance of scar tissue, cellulite. Um, it can help with hair regrowth as well. Like the, the list is endless. There's absolutely amazing benefits with red light therapy. One of my favorites is it helps you sleep as well. And as I mentioned earlier, it's very important to get the right frequency of red light. So I've just got, I've just bought this little red light device on here. This is a Bond Charge mini device. Um, and I switched the red light on there and you can see red light therapy working um, really well there. This is great for spot treatments, but there's other videos on this. And I've also got here a, um, a light spectrometer. You can see, um, you can see here. So what I'm going to do is, um, that's the current state of play here in the studio, horrible blue light, but never mind. I'm going to test this device here. 
So you can see if we've got the 660 nanometer red light present. There you have it, pure 660 nanometer red light um, that's being given out by that device. Now, you always want to be very careful when you're choosing a red light therapy device for use at home um, because some of them don't contain the most bioactive available um, frequencies of red light. You need 660 nanometers. That's, that's essential um, to get the best treatment. Now, what you also want to understand is that 850 nanometers is the best um, invisible frequency of near infrared light. So make sure your device that you're purchasing has that in it as well. Irradiance is the most important. Always make sure it's 100, over 100 per uh, megawatts per centimeter squared. If it isn't, then you know the efficacy of that specific device isn't going to be great as well. Also make sure that the device doesn't flicker or emit lots of EMF. Um, our devices have um, been tested very recently um, with our new supplier to not admit any um, flicker and also low EMF as well. So you'll be um, assured of, of a low EMF and a low flicker, um, a zero flicker device as well. So there you have it. That is what is red light therapy. Um, please leave some comments below. I'll happily answer those for you as well. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys again, and please do subscribe ready for the next video. Thanks again.